Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. And today I want to show you an action I made to separate the audio from a video item. I'll first show you how to do it manually and then you'll see that it takes a few steps and then I'll show you my custom action. So got an empty project here and I'm going to just bring a video into it and there's the video. So this is our video and the audio right now lives with the video track. So if you want to just strip the audio track entirely, what you can do is press command and F2 to open this window or alternatively you can right click go to item properties and in properties go down here to properties and you'll end up in the same place and here you can say ignore audio hit ok hit ok here and now you just have your video item with no audio on it and this ignore audio action kind of lives on its own window so you can't access it from anywhere else and also if I hit command and Z like I did right now nothing happens this just kind of lives on its own and it seems to be kind of disconnected to the rest of Reaper so if you want to reverse First that you gotta come back to this window now my audio and video are together so there may be a situation where you need to separate your audio from the video but you want to keep both of them well I can duplicate this video item on the track below I can select this item and I can glue it and when you glue something Reaper doesn't glue videos it just glues whatever item you glue to a wave file so now this is my audio I can come here to video and I can go command F2 and I can ignore the audio and now this is my video track and I can mute this track. It'll just play my video without playing any audio. And I can also mute this track to not show my video anymore. And this is just my audio. And then from here, you know, you can group them so they move together if you're editing them together or something like that. Or if you need this for any kind of post production audio application, if you have time code or something like that, then you just want to make sure that they don't move, which you can simply do by locking them. Now they are together, but they're also locked so I can move them around. But if I want to, for example, mute my audio, I just mute this track and keep working. And if I want to not see the video for any reason, that's here so you know this is multiple steps of work so you copy this down you ignore the audio on this then you glue this then you lock them or group them or whatever. So that takes a little bit of time. So I also wrote a custom script for this. So I'm gonna hit my custom script. It's called separate video and audio track. So I just select my track and I hit it and shebloinks, the same stuff happened. Now, unfortunately, there's no way in Reaper to assign a command to this ignore audio situation. So instead what I did is I did all the steps that I showed you, but I just turned down the item volume for the top track to minus infinity. So this is your video track, no audio. Audio, and this is your audio track that's wave and there's no video with it if you want to know what happened in the script in detail well you can download it from my github repositories and you'll be able to see it but also if you want more explanation on that check out the blog post for this episode you'll be able to install it and be able to have a quick action to separate video from an audio track so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you like the work i do and if you liked my scripts and all that stuff um, you can donate to me through buymeacoffee.com the link to that will be in the description as well thanks to Andreas F for continually donating to the channel. I really appreciate it, Andy. Thanks to all of you for helping me reach 2,222 subscribers. Check out the community post for yesterday if you want to give me any ideas for my 2,222 subscriber special. It's just going to be a fun little video for all of you who stuck with me to show my appreciation for you. Otherwise, take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye.